Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today's video is a Goodwill palette haul. So this is part two. Part one, I will link up here somewhere. Um, yeah, so our local Goodwill are understaffed right now due to COVID. And they are basically taking all raw donations, throwing them in Gaylord boxes, and putting them up on a pallet taking them to the front of their stores and putting a $50 price tag on it. Um, if you return the pallet and the Gaylord box, you get a $10 credit. So my mom purchased the first box for 50. I went in, purchased the second box, it was 30. And then I purchased another one, which was 40. Um, so I'm going to be doing three parts to this video. It might be more actually, because I don't have a lot of time, um, but I'm gonna go through and price items, Whatever items I feel are worthy of selling, I will show you guys. Um, there is a lot of junk. Um, a lot of junk. Of course, there was a great deal of trash. Not necessarily trash, but things that I'm not going to be able to sell. Um, so I will be putting things in another donation pile. I've already taken one load to the dump, and I've taken one load to Goodwill. So I'm going to go and start pricing items, seeing what's worth selling, what's not. In this corner, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, so I will be going through all of this. I also have a bin of clothes, which is plus size, and I'm probably gonna sell it as a lot on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and price things and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back with some items I'm gonna show you. So for most of the stuff, I am just gonna throw up like, um, soul comps like on eBay. Um, I'm probably gonna put these on my car. I'll probably put some on eBay as well but it'll be a little bit before I put them on eBay. Um, also, some things will be sold on Facebook Marketplace and some things I'll be keeping for myself. So I will go ahead and get started with this pile here and the last pile will be in part three and that's actually much larger. Um, just some things are included in that one's like a weed eater and a leaf blower, stuff like that. So, all right, so I have some DVDs. These are just random DVDs. I'll probably just sell these in a lot for like five to ten dollars. I don't even know. Um, but they're nothing special. Alright. So this is something. It's got a price of $16. This is called Naturally. It's a um, kind of like potpourri. It's a luxury home fragrance is what it says. It smells really good. But it's sealed. Never been opened. So I decided I could try it. Let's see what I could get for it. There was this Atlanta mug, which I thought was pretty cute, and there was, I couldn't find this exact one on eBay, but I put up just some to see what the prices were on mugs in general. So, there's that. I'll probably throw this up on like Poshmark or something, it's just a cute little tin. That's all it is. These will go on Poshmark. I believe these are belts, but I, I'm not 100% sure, but they look like belts. Um, they are stretchy. And this one looks like a mustache. I'm not really sure what this is. I did not see any kind of markings on it whatsoever, but there's two of them. I'm pretty sure it's a belt. So these came in little bags. Um, I will research more into that and I will put that up here somewhere and then there was this one this one has more of a boho vibe to it in my opinion so it's just this pretty stretchy well this one's really not too stretchy but yeah just felt I guess or I don't think it's a necklace that would pinch all right Alright, so the next thing are these children's Nike glasses. These had really good comps for this uh, model number, but these are prescription. They come with a little shark case. Really cute. I will get these listed ASAP because those comps are pretty good. I have another pair of glasses. These are the Oakley's and these ones had really good comps as well so here is the glasses at first i thought they were kids but then i put them on my big head and they seem to fit so i think maybe they are adults um but i'm not 100 percent sure 
but regardless, I, I looked up the uh, style number, and that's what popped up, what's on the screen. There was a watch. This is a Waltham, which is a vintage watch. My mom said that she wore one like this to prom back in the late 70s. This is stainless steel, Swiss. It says Swiss made base metal bezel. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, this is just a vintage watch. Um, I don't think this will go for much. It is just a Belkin uh, laptop to HD TV, VGA audio video cable. Some people buy it. I think it was like $8 on eBay or something. So it's brand new. Put it up there for 5 bucks or so. This is a Roshko. I believe this is a quiche pan. I'm not sure. But I did not see this on eBay. I'm going to do more research. Um, but this part comes out... I think it's for quiche. It's very thin. So I'm not 100% sure, but Roshko in general had some decent comps. So another thing that I will test out and see. Alright, so the next piece is this. This is Nordic Wear. This is a holiday mini loaf. It had decent comps as well. And this will probably be good to put out near Christmas time. It's kind of heavy, so that's good. Well, not for shipping, but... Alright. There were some brass wall candle sconce. These are... They have decent comps for just brass candle um, wall holders in general. So, we'll try these. I will probably put these on Mercari and Poshmark. Um, let's see. I have a lot of glass stuff. Um, this is just a little... Nebraska shot glass. Um, this is a heavy duty, I mean, ashtray. It took me a minute to figure out what it was. Um, it's an ashtray. These types of ashtrays have really good comps on eBay. So I don't know. This one, I'm not sure what you would call this. I'm going to research that, of course, but um, I just looked up vintage ashtrays in general pretty decent. It's really heavy. It would definitely harm somebody if it got thrown at their head. Um, it's pretty, pretty heavy. This is just a random bell. It's a pretty bell. I believe it's older. It looks older. There's no markings on it at all. I don't know if you can actually see it because the light might be washing it out, but um, yeah, it's cute. And some people collect bells, so... Oh no! Okay. This is like a brass sand timer, and they had pretty good comps on eBay as well. But I don't know what type this is. I didn't see any markings on it, but it, it does seem to be brass or metal of some sort, just a brass color. All right. Now these, I don't know what these are. I did take pictures to try to do a reverse Google image search when I go inside on the computer. Uh, if I found that, I'll put that on the screen. But it's a male and female porcelain figurine. He has like a guitar. Is that a guitar or ukulele? I don't really know what that is. But anyway, she's holding a book, kind of like they're singing. Um, really pretty. Male and female figurines on eBay, some of them have extremely high comps like hundreds of dollars so these do look older they have felt on the bottom that I don't know if it's been glued his has come off a little bit there's no markings that I see so I don't know they're really cute um, yeah so they have like gold uh, detailing on them Alright, so these are three Walt Disney World. Um, these are the Whirly Drinkworks cups. I don't think they've been used, if so, maybe once. Um, but I was going to take these in, wash them, and just sell them as a set for maybe 10 bucks or so. Comps were for more um, pieces of the set, so 
We'll see how those go. Um, all right, so the next item are these sunglasses. These are a Densco 9007s. They had decent comps for the brand itself, so we will see how this does. It says Frame Italy on it, um, and it's got a number 5614 engraved on the front. So it has like bifocals in it, or readers, I don't know what that, I guess that's bifocals. I don't know glasses, I don't wear glasses. Alright, the next item is just a pair of sunglasses. This is from a place here in Columbia, Ion Gervais. I don't even know if that's still here. Just some sunglasses. Yep. I believe these are women's. And then we have another pair of sunglasses. These are they have decent comps. This is Bill Dance and it's SK. So Strike King Lures Bill Dance sunglasses. They have like the visor on the side that can move. So I don't know. I'm gonna try them out. All right. So this is a Rosetta Stone. It's got everything in it. It's volume one, level one through four for French. Um, I'm not sure if. This is like a one-time use serial code type of thing. I don't know anything about it. I still have to research that. But I just kind of looked at random comps. So I figured it was okay enough to sell if it's able to be used. I have sold software before that was unable to be used. Alright, so the next two items I have are two zip drives. These are the Omega Zip 100s. The only thing is the top piece keeps popping out on both of them. It's like the little, I mean it pops right back in. But it has the cables and everything with it. They have really good uh, comps. And I actually have a zip drive inside, which I don't use. It was my grandma's, so I think I might sell it as well. But um, these are, I think these are two different ones. One of them has some controls on the back here. This one doesn't. So I'm going to test them out and see. All right. This is a DVD player, I've got to test, and this is a Pioneer DVD player. It's DV440, I check comps, if it works, I'll be able to sell it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to put all this stuff. Okay. I have a set of glass dishes so these are bowls this is royal norfolk and the comps for just plain bowls were, were pretty decent so i decided i would go ahead i really don't like shipping glass because my fear is that it will break um, with how careless sometimes the post office can be um, but i have a lot of packing material right now so i have enough probably to ship some of these things out uh, there was a puerto rico mug for some reason these for some reason the mugs um that just have locations on them seem to have decent comps just for a mug these i'll probably put on like poshmark they are napkin holders they have like a bell in them but they're like ants they're kind of cute <laughs> And there's like Christmas decor. This is Fifth Avenue Crystal Poinsettia. It's a six inch hurricane. It does have a, a label on it. I think it says $20. So I'll probably just sell that for like 10 bucks on Mercari near Christmas time. All right, so the next item is this jewelry box. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna sell it or not. I might just redonate it, but it's like a vintage jewelry box. It doesn't lift on the top. It's just um, doors that open to little drawers, and then larger drawers, and the same thing on that side. It's really nice. I haven't found any markings on it yet saying what it is, so I'll probably sell it on Facebook Marketplace, more than likely. This is another piece I'll probably sell on Facebook Marketplace. It's just home decor, and this one has a Marshalls, a piece of a Marshalls label on it, but this is Elements is the name brand. Um, 
So there were a couple of random wall hangings that were in the box and more than likely this is going to be donated because it has some staining on it. These were pretty cute. This one says hello deer and it's got like deer antlers. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I might sell it on Poshmark maybe. I don't know. Would you consider this Christmassy or would you consider this just random country girl type stuff? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, there's another one with the deer ant head on it and it's um it says home sweet home which is cute my mom might even like this to put at her cabin possibly i don't know but that is a piece of wood looks like it may have been done by hand and this one i'm actually going to take and put in my own house this is from hobby lobby originally 50 dollars, and it's this pretty it reminds me of like a boho type style it's got feathers and arrows on it really cute it kind of shimmers so I'm keeping this for myself um, and then we have this this is Oneida and I think this is a roasting pan I don't know I don't know my dishes I'm not a cook um, Oneida and it says immaculate stainless steel 18 slash 10 I have no idea but I'll figure it out but I mean I might need this if I start cooking so I don't know I'll look it up and I'll put something over here okay, so there was a Lord of the Rings 3d puzzle I'm not sure how this will do I'm actually adding this in I have not comped this yet so I will comp it as I'm editing my video um, we will probably make sure all the pieces are here by doing it ourselves first before I do sell it but this was there that is it for this portion of the video part two part three will be out next week sometime I do have to work two more days Saturday and Sunday so I will not be filming a video until probably Monday or Tuesday so it will be up Wednesday I am going to change the days of my videos here very soon but i'll let you guys know um when i do that so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you all in the next video have a great day stay safe Bye.